have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be, who you're going to be, who you're going to be. How do you get yourself out of the front door when you don't want to? How do you find the motivation to go and ride your bike when the excitement is not there? How do you decide where to go when you've been everywhere within reach a million times? This is my problem. I'm not sure I could even class myself as a cyclist anymore because I don't enjoy just cycling. I would say I'm more of a cycle adventurer because that is what I long to do travel and explore on my bicycle. They say you have to love what you do and if you don't love it, it becomes a chore. The problem is with cycling, if you don't stay fit, then when it comes to ride for love and go on a cycling adventure, can you still enjoy it? If every hill takes all your strength and determination to get over, sitting on the saddle for more than a couple of hours becomes uncomfortable. Your mind isn't free to enjoy just riding. All it notices are the twinges of pain and the discomfort. And when going around the corner on familiar roads, you know what's coming, so the mind is not occupied. You've seen it all before. So that's the twinge in your right knee. It feels worse, and it's all you can focus on. Getting out of the front door is my problem because it has become a chore to ride my bike just for fitness. I make videos of my cycling, so if I don't ride my bike, I can't make a video. Thoughts of video ideas you would think would motivate me to ride, film and share my content. But you get drawn in as a creator to wanting more, more views, more likes, more comments. So you go bigger, further, higher, faster longer and steeper. You challenge yourself and you push yourself beyond enjoyment just to get an extra view. I wanted to do about 80k today, so I've put in two Mendip climbs. I'm going up uh, Old Bristol Hill and then Burrington Coombe, so we'll see what test that brings. Already struggling on this one though. <laughs> Bit of a test. Maybe making videos is why I'm struggling to just ride my bike. I often ride solo, which is an escape from reality. It leaves you with your own thoughts your own demons, your own inner voice. Riding with friends quietens the noise, reminds you of how much fun you can have with a good group of cyclists. But life gets in the way. We all have to work to be able to afford life. have family that we need to spend time with to love to make happy time is our enemy there is just not enough hours in a day days in a week or years to enjoy life I'm getting older recovering from long rides takes longer riding in general is harder but the need to exercise to prolong your existence to find more time to experience more of what life has to offer the desire to keep moving is great I can't sit still for long
I mean, that's the second climb done, that's Barrington Coombe. Uh, popped up on my Wahoo. My best time out there was 8.39, and my predicted time was 15.39, so <laughs> just goes to show how much slower I've got with lack of fitness and old age. Quite humbling when people come flying past you because they never used to. Yeah, should have ridden me bike, shouldn't I? When you lose family members, time becomes more significant. You feel the need to make the most of the time you have. So you plan adventures to do things to tick off your bucket list. Things to achieve before it's too late. I want to cycle to go bikepacking across Europe. It's the number one thing on my list. It will take time, weeks, time I can't afford. I got myself out of my front door today because of time, because of my need to be fit, because I'm going on an adventure bikepacking through the north of France, in Brittany and Normandy in just a few weeks, and I need to be fit to do it. I need to be fit to enjoy it. I've had time to get ready, but I've wasted that time as I've struggled to get out of the door, and I've used all the excuses under the sun, although this winter has mainly been rain, or it's the puppy, it's too cold, I don't feel like it, I've got nowhere to go, I don't have an idea for a video, not this week, I'll go next week. Then five months passed without me riding my bike. Now I'm out of time, I have to force myself out of the door to ride, to spend hours in the saddle and I've only got myself to blame. Why is it so hard? And I know what you're thinking, how can you not get motivated to cycle in the stunning scenery that you've ridden today? The sun is out, it's gorgeous, there's cake and coffee, and my answer is, I don't know why, that is my problem. Am I glad I did it? Am I glad I forced myself to suffer up two mended climbs? I do have a problem with motivation. But today, I rode my bike. I won. Uh-oh, here's trouble. Someone's got some energy left. I, however, don't. <laughs> right, so, am I glad I went out? Yes. Uh, I procrastinated around this morning. I knew it was gonna be a great day. I had nowhere to go, no ideas for a video. And I just thought, I've got to get out. That bike packing trip is getting closer and closer and I need some fitness. So how is my fitness? It's pretty good. Um, I can, I'm going to be okay to do 100K a day. 160K on the first day worries me, but we shall get through that, I think, with the help of Pete. Um, yes, yeah, just the contact points. So my, um, 
my right foot is a little bit sore on the outside and uh, and where I sit on the saddle which has been the issue the last few rides I've had um, so I'm hoping <laughs> that doesn't cause a problem when we're bike packing for five six days or whatever it is seven days yeah I think I'm ready to get off the bike now <laughs> 79k or whatever it is in the bag just just gonna get worn out by this little one here now hey Coop Can I feel